Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Low Budget Review Show. I am your host, Eric Smith, and today I am talking about Killing Floor by Lee Child. This is the first Jack Reacher novel. Um, I don't know, I've never seen either of the Tom Cruise Jack Reacher movies. Uh, I hear they're pretty good. I'm not a Tom Cruise fan. Uh, I have not watched the Amazon series. I am an Alan Richson fan. I believe that's the name of the actor that plays Jack Reacher. Uh, I like that guy. He was in the TV show Blood Drive. Uh, he was on Titans, the superhero show. He played Hawk of Hawk and Dove. And uh, I hear Blue Mountain State. I hear he was great in that. Um, so I am interested in watching the TV show. But I figured, as usual, I wanted to read the book first. My stepfather is a huge fan. I think he's read all of the books. Um, and not only is this the first Jack Reacher novel, this is the first novel by Lee Child. That's not the dude's real name. What a liar. No, uh, Lee Child is a British author. Uh, I meant to write down his his real name, but I forgot. It's not that important. Uh, I believe there's 27 or 28 Jack Reacher novels at this point. Uh, the last three or four he has co-written with his brother because, allegedly, uh, the original Lee Child wants to retire and his brother's going to take over writing the series. But uh, for those of you who don't know, you're saying, yeah, Jack Reacher. I don't know what the hell that is. What are you going on about? Well, uh, Jack Reacher is an ex-military drifter. So he's just, since he's gotten out of the military, he's just been drifting around the United States. He stops in this small town of Margrave. And at the very beginning of the book... I mean, let's see, first page. He's sitting in a diner, trying to have some breakfast, and some cops show up, and he knows that they're there to arrest him. Because the way they show up, and the fact that the only other people in the diner are like the cook, two waitresses, and a couple old people that look like regulars, and two squad cars come tearing in, and the cops jump out with shotguns and handguns he's like yep they're here to arrest me uh so basically he gets arrested and they start questioning him about this murder why'd you murder this guy why'd you do this why'd you do that and he's like i have no idea what you're talking about he's a little uh dickish about it um because uh, that's this that's his personality uh and he's trying to question them while they're trying to question him, because he doesn't know anything about this murder. Uh, and he has an alibi. It happened at midnight, and in at midnight he was in Memphis getting on a bus. Excuse me just a moment. Uh, so anyway, the rest of the book, he, he, he doesn't want to get involved. Once he's cleared his name, he just wants to get the hell out of town. But circumstances pull him in. And so the rest of the book is him trying to figure out what the hell's going on in the town of Margrave. All right, so this is a, it's a thriller, it's action-packed mystery thriller, and I gave it three out of five. I liked it. It didn't blow me away. Uh, Lee Child's writing, now again, this is his first novel. And he's got 27 or 28 of these. So his writing may change. In this book, I think he's never met a short sentence that he didn't like. There are two-word sentences, three-word sentences. There are some longer sentences. But it's very terse writing style. It is in first person. So it's it's uh, Jack Reacher telling us the story. But um, it's well-written. It moves along at a good pace. And I, I don't know the intention of the author, but I, I figured out a lot of stuff very early on. Uh, there was only one thing that surprised me. There was a point, probably in the first quarter of the book, where I, I said, this is going to happen by the end of the book, and it doesn't, which surprised me. Um... 
but pretty much everything else, every part of a lot of parts of the mystery, what's going on, I had figured out pretty early on. Now, I can't say if that's something the author cared about. He was planting seeds, um, so maybe he wanted people to figure it out. But there were no, aside from that one thing, there were no real surprises. Uh, there's one thing that made no sense to me whatsoever. Uh, so unless I missed something, I just do not understand um, a certain something that happens. And it's not a confusing thing. It's just, it's, it's, it's an inconsistency, I think. Um, which doesn't, you know, that's not going to destroy a book for me. Uh, I, the character of Jack Reacher is fine. Uh, again, first book, he may develop over time, become more interesting. But there wasn't really much that hooked me as far as the character went. He's not the worst character I've ever read. He's not the best character I've ever read in, in these types of things. Uh, I did like some of the other characters. The chief of detectives in a town that only has one detective. Uh, Finley. I really like that character. And um, some of the other folks that show up. And I do like... I guess one of the problems I had with Reacher is he's, he's got certain prejudices. And he's, he's not racist or anything like that. But when he, when he sees people, um, he's making judgments. And, uh, but he does learn when he's wrong. Uh, so I did like that. I think my biggest problem with this is it is a story that has the type of coincidence that I absolutely hate. Uh, I'm not going to get specific, but it just seems to me, anytime I read something like this, so far beyond the realm of possibility, it's not completely impossible, but it's one of those... You know, there's half a percent chance, a one in a million. I know those aren't the same numbers, half a percent and one in a million. Um, a one in a million chance, and yet it's one of the driving forces behind this story. So three out of five. It's well written, the characters are interesting, but it, overall it wasn't that surprising. And uh, the action scenes are pretty good. Um, I think maybe it's a little long, F over 500 pages. Um, yeah, a little over 500 pages. Seemed to be stretched a little bit. Uh, and then that whole big coincidence thing. I thought about three and a half. I definitely wasn't going to bump it up to four, you know, round it up. It was definitely rounding down to three but I'm not even sure three and a half is would be my official rating just because of those few little things. Uh, but if you like, I think if you've liked the, if you like the movies, if you've seen the movies, if you've seen the TV show, and you like them, you're probably going to like the book. Um, I'm still going to check out the TV show mainly because, uh, again, I'm a fan of Alan Richardson, and I like the guy that's playing Finley. He was in. I Zombie. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. He was the detective in I Zombie, which was a show I really liked. Uh, so I'm definitely going to check out the show. We'll see how it compares with the book. And it's on Amazon Prime. So it's this isn't, it's not a huge recommendation. It's not, you know, avoided at any cost. It's just, it's sort of in the middle. And unfortunately... With as many books as I have to read, uh, it's going to be a long, long time, I think, before I give Jack Reacher another try. Again, not because I didn't like any of it, but simply because 
I mean, I'm looking at stacks and carts of books that I own. This is my stepfather's copy, by the way. Uh, but my own books to read. And so, uh, yeah. If I do, it's going to be, if I read the next book, it's going to be quite a ways down the road. But, you know, average. Three out of five. Killing Floor by Lee Child, the first Jack Reacher novel. There you go. Um, question for this video. <laughs> Have you seen the Jack Reacher movies or the TV show? What did you think? And do you dislike Tom Cruise as much as I do? <laughs> um, I don't know, man. Tom Cruise has always just seemed creepy to me. And then you get into the, all the Scientology stuff. He's not a horrible actor. Um, and I do, it pains me. I do like, uh, what are they, what's the original title? Edge of Tomorrow. That sounds like such a soap opera. I prefer Live, Die, Repeat. Um, I really, really like that movie because of the whole time loop aspect of it. Plus, I get to see Tom Cruise die over and over and over again. Um, but other than that, I've only seen a couple of the Mission Impossible movies. Uh, you know, I saw I saw Risky Business way back in the day. I saw it in theaters. Um, but I, I don't go out of my way to watch Tom Cruise movies. I have no interest in his version of The Mummy, even... Before I heard that it was horrible, I had no interest in it. So, yeah, there's there's your, your two-part question. Uh, have you seen the Jack Reacher movies, TV show? What do you think? I'll throw in, have you read any of the Jack Reacher novels, and what do you think? And what are your thoughts on Tom Cruise? Do you love him? Do you dislike him? I, I don't hate the guy. I just kind of find him creepy. And he's not... There's nothing there that's compelling me to watch his stuff. Um, there you go. Let me know your answers in the comments below. If you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please put those in the comments below. Comments are open for spoilers. Just post a spoiler warning. Try to be polite here at the Low Budget Review Show. Uh, if you care to follow... Um, no, I almost skipped the whole. Please like, share, and subscribe. All that YouTube stuff. Now, if you'd care to follow me on other social media, my Twitter is at Ronan5757. My Instagram, where I post pictures of books, comic books, board games, and fuzzy animals, is Eric Smith 5757 That's Eric with a K. E-R-I-K-S-M-I-T-H-5757. That's all I have for you. This has been the Low Budget Review Show. I have been Eric Smith. And until next time, read more books.